Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find any duplicate products and then clean up your product listings on your Shopify store. This might not be a topic that you've gone over yet, but it's very, very important. We need to avoid duplicate product issues on Shopify, and I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. Sometimes issues may arise with your product listings, things like duplicate product titles, duplicate SKUs, duplicate barcodes. Maybe you copied over a product, but you didn't publish the right one. Manual error, right? Lots of different reasons why your product listings can kind of get out of whack. And these issues can completely mess up the way you run your business. First of all, they can completely break things like fulfillment. If you're doing drop shipping or print on demand, you could have duplicate fulfillments. You could have issues with no fulfillment. It could also significantly hurt your search engine optimization. Duplicate records in a store will actually lower your SEO ranking. Really all search engines uh, devalue a site for duplicate content. Imagine having two, three, four, five of the same product pages, same product just duplicated and not even knowing, having that really hurt your SEO. So needs to be avoided at all costs. And there are some pain points if you wanna go ahead and actually do this in Shopify because there's no built-in way to do this with your Shopify store. You're gonna to need to use an app and I'm going to show you exactly which app to use and it needs to be super easy to use and need no prior technological skill. You don't need to be a coder or a developer to use the app. And really most importantly, the app is not only going to find duplicate products, they're going to search through titles and SKUs and barcodes, but they're also going to delete the duplicates automatically, right? So it's not only finding the duplicates, finding the issues, but then remedying that issue, deleting those duplicates, keeping the original in there. That's the key, and that's exactly what Duplicate Finder does. That's why I highly recommend it. You see the link directly below this video. We're gonna go over the shoulder, and I'm gonna show you more about Duplicate Finder. But uh, you see the link over here. I'm gonna pull this up right now. This is the Shopify App Store with Duplicate Finder, a massive 4.2 out of five star reviews over here. And this does exactly what I was describing, and it does it incredibly well. It's gonna help you find and then delete duplicate titles, duplicate SKUs, duplicate barcodes, things that are messing up your product catalog. And you could look at the link below, you see more about Duplicate Finder on webappslive.com. And this is actually one of many Shopify apps, e-com apps that they have that can really help you grow and manage your store. So again, I'll drop the link directly below this video. You can take a look at all these different apps, works for Shopify, WooCommerce, and uh, you could jump more into that. But what I wanna do is go ahead and install this app into the Shopify store to give you some examples of exactly how you can use it. So all you need to do is press the install app button. I've already installed it, so we see open app over here, but you'll click install app. You'll be able to install this app into your store as a free plan available. And once you install the app, you'll be brought over here into the duplicate finder dashboard. And you'll see the different apps installed over here from web apps live. You might have some of the other ones like I showed you before. You can definitely jump into taking a look at all the solutions, but right now, with Duplicate Finder, it's very, very simple. You'll see that your Shopify store that you've connected it to is listed over here, and you'll be able to jump into Duplicate Finder and actually go through and use the different features that are available. And first of all, it's gonna define exactly what duplicates are on here, and it's really what I've been talking about throughout this entire product, uh, this entire video, I should say. It's when a product gets uploaded multiple times, or if it gets cloned and one is public and one is private, and then both go public, right? Basically the idea is that you wanna have a very clean product catalog. And these are the tools inside here, right? Find duplicate titles, duplicate SKUs, duplicate barcodes. We can go right over here and literally enter in here. It's gonna start going through the products in your store. But before we do any of that, we need to sync. Okay, so you'll do this when you start the app. You see the sync button over here. And you see the message over here. It's gonna talk about syncing this over here. It's really just gonna go ahead and grab all of the products that are inside of your store. And you see syncing, please wait. It really just takes a couple of minutes to do this. And that's it, right? It went through the products, found the different products in the store, came through, itemized 678 different variants, 13 products, 83 images, titles, all the locations, all that good stuff. And you could always come in here, manage your data over here by doing something like erase, or resync if you wanted. But now we come back over here and you'll see when we go to duplicate titles now, we're actually having everything that's indexed. And of course, you wanna take a backup export of your products and images from Shopify before you start deleting duplicates. Really just good advice always to have uh, backups on hand. And because they've indexed all the products, they're now able to apply these features to them. So here's a good example where, in this case, it's gonna come back over here and we did a duplicate title search. 
And in this case, it's going to come back and show two products that have the same exact title. Obviously, it's coming back over here and alerting us about this product. And then we can come over here and take a look at things like description. If there's a de uh, description in here, what the URL or what they put the handle in, basically the end part of the URL for the product, the vendor, basically being able to look at anything about the product, you know, right here in this one view. And once you identify the duplicate products, and in this case, I just have one set of duplicate products over here, we could actually go ahead and remove one of the products, right? So we can come over here, right? Either way, we'd be able to come back and delete one of the products here, or we could delete both of them. We could do whatever we want with them. And you see, we'll come right over here, click delete selected, and we'll get our delete all selected pop up over here. It's really just going over and kind of giving you that uh, final confirmation where you'll be able to delete it. Could also export your backup over here, just kind of giving you a reminder about needing to uh, do your export. You could do that in your product section of your back end. So you'll be able to do it. Final check over here before you delete and you'll have that backup as well. You'll click start delete to start that process. It's about having that full control of not only identifying, but also being able to remove the product right inside of Duplicate Finder. And you can do the same type of modules over here with Duplicate SKU. We can come over here. I think all of our SKUs are uh, in good shape here. Yeah, no Duplicate SKUs. Come back and take a look. Duplicate barcodes. See if we have anything. Okay, no so we're in good shape there. We just had that double product over there and we were able to remove that one duplicate title. And this is really all that you need to do. It keeps that product catalog super clean. It keeps your SEO in really good shape. And you could imagine, I know a lot of the students watching this video, they do print on demand or drop shipping. And let's say you go ahead and add a product from a drop shipping app or from a print on demand app. You could easily have duplicated your product, created it twice, didn't change the name from the original default name, right? Sometimes they'll say something like unisex t-shirt and you might want to give it a title, but you forget. This is a great tool to go ahead and see that. It's going to call out all of those uh, titles that are the same, the duplicates, so you'll be able to go in there and actually make the changes. Again, great for SEO. You don't want to have that duplicate content, but really also just great for conversion rate optimization. You want to have your product catalog looking as good as it possibly can. You definitely don't want to have any duplicate titles or any type of issues that could mess anything up. Also talking about print on demand and drop shipping, things like SKUs could really, really uh, mess up your fulfillment. If you have issues with duplicate SKUs, you could have duplicate order fulfillment, doubling your cost or even tripling your cost, getting multiple products delivered when the customer only ordered one. So you want to make sure your SKUs are always good. A lot of you doing print on demand, a lot of you doing drop shipping. This is super important when it comes to having that great automated fulfillment that we need. So that was Duplicate Finder. And as you saw, incredibly easy to get started in here. Get this running in your store. There's a free plan available as well. So all you need to do is again, install that app. You see the link directly below this video. Highly recommended. Immediately find and fix all of your duplicate product issues in your Shopify store. Improve that SEO and just clean up your entire catalog all at once with Duplicate Finder. Definitely get this in your store. I hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.